Hello everyone, welcome back. Today I'm here with our August 13th new releases. Um, this week we have our November monthly, the matching weekly, and decorative kit. We also have some vintage foil here, a, another kit as well, so two kits this week, and then we have the matching pet tape. Try not to forget her this week. I feel like I always forget her, but actually I'm going to zoom out a little bit. Let's start with the foil and then I'm going to do the monthly and then I'll do the next kit. So this week's foil is like anytime vintage vibes. I feel like that's been like what y'all have been liking a lot lately. Um, and like I feel like we're starting to beat fall. <laughs> um, just like it's just, we've been doing so much fall, so I don't know. Um, just wanted to do some anytime stuff. Um, I feel like vintage always gives like fall vibes though, so I don't know. Anyway, this first up here is library stamps. So just like a mixture of different like library elements. Um, and you can obviously pick them up in whatever foil color you like, but I feel like this is a super cute staple, especially for layering and all that other stuff, especially because currently our decorative kits aren't foiled so this works really well for laying around on top of that if you did want some foil on those sorry um next we have um two new terrible washi like foiled washi sheets um did not grab the washi ones but they are available in transparent and washi um as usual so here you can see here, this first one is this distressed like stamp texture. Super cute. And then we have this vintage writing texture. So love both of these. Um, like I said, terrible washi. Um, so these are available in washi and transparent. Um, apparently I put all the other sheets over here. Next up, we have these vintage tickets. So we have just like some tickets, um, like cinema, some anytime ones, admission tickets, stuff like that. And then last but not least for this size sheet, we have these distressed elements. So we have like these like circle stamps almost. And then I don't really know how to describe these textures. They're just like super like grungy I guess so these are the distressed elements so those are all of these sheets for this week in this size and then of course we have some washi as well so we have our tape measure washi so we have some inches ones and just different line widths and stuff like that super cute we have some distressed stamp washi, which matches that um, that terrible distressed stamp pattern washi stuff. So here is the washi one, and then here is the this is like a stitch washi, so it just kind of looks like sewing machine stitches. Although the state of some of these stitches makes me think that either they're supposed to be hand sewn or this sewing machine is really out of whack. Um, so those are all of the foil sheets that we have this week. Super good staples, I feel like. So, um, between that and last week's, I just spent on, like, a, a staple spree. Um, let's go ahead and do the monthly first. Well, next, I guess. Um, so, of course, we have our November 2024 monthly collection. So this is our 7x9 A5 wide size. You know, this really cute window here, of course the foiled florals. This is also giving sort of vintage vibes, so we have this candle here, some matchsticks, a like, wick trimmer, and then this little trinket box. Here is the um, second page, so we have your date dots, the holidays, some more floral boxes, and then just an assortment of boxes to use in your spread. And then next we have more like some lace boxes and some watercolor shapes, torn paper, and then here is the decorative sidebar. 
love this um, leather jacket here. I put some like foiled roses on it to like complement the rose pattern on it. I don't know, I really like that foil. Little foiled bow on the bag, a camera up there on the shelf, some leaves, and then this really cute like foiled vintage phone there. Love that. More leaves, of course. So that was the decorative sidebar, but we also have the checklist sidebar as usual if that is something that you prefer. Um, we also have the matching weekly. So I didn't show you that. Um, so of course you have floral boxes. Here we have that same little like coat pick almost um, that was in the sidebar for the decorative. So you have that same jacket with the foiled roses and the bag as well and then that camera up on the shelf. Um, here's an additional scene of like this really like pretty living room with like a fireplace and a piano and then some blowing leaves in there. I guess they have the window open or something because there are a ton of leaves in there. Um, the quote box here says, in the end, we all become stories, which I hope I remember um, what to tell you on the next kit that I'm going to show you because I think it's so funny and I just realized it as I was about to film this video. Anyway, then we have here that same little like suitcase stack with the cage and boots and then you have that same foiled phone. We have the window again here with some like slight brick texture that same candle and wick trimmer and trinket box and then more florals of course so this is a super like vintagey moody ish kit but I wanted to lean more into like I don't know like neutrals and pinks I didn't want to make it like too dark and moody so you can see here about the color palette hopefully achieve that don't know if I mentioned it it's in rose gold foil in case you haven't noticed by now but we have like a darker pink a brown, a lighter pink, and then like a beige-ish color. Here is the um, functional page. So you have this like swirly dotted leaf header, the foiled florals of course, and then lace headers as well. And just the usual kind of format here. Here is the bottom washi with that same like twirly dotted leaf washi. And of course the foiled florals. We have your date covers, that same like jacket hook, like coat hook here as a deco piece, candle, boots, the matchbox, the stack of um, suitcases, and then that bird cage. Here is the foil add-on. So we have that same pattern that was in the washi, but you have them here as foil pieces. So you have the washi in the divider size. We have this um, that like rose brick texture that we had before that is here. Um, we do have like some brick texture in the full boxes like behind that window and then these are the same roses that I used on the jacket so it just felt fitting. A couple of those bows here and then a ton of leaves and then some blowing leaves as well. Showing this in rose gold but you can also get this in any foil color that you'd like if you feel like you have another kit that this would match with. Next we have the deco add-on which has something sticking to it from my desk probably. Um, so here's the deco add-on. You have the coat hook with nothing on it here. We have a bunch of florals, the suitcase. Again, lots of same elements. This is bigger. Um, we do have a hat here as well. Here is the journal add-on. In the stamps you have that piano box in the window box and then of course you have the candle with the match box there as well. Here is the floral deco sheet, super jam packed. And then we have the alcohol ink swatches. Which these are on white. So that is the weekly kit for November 2024. Let me flip through the decorative kit yeah we'll do that next so this I actually grabbed on our washi paper so you can kind of see that here you can kind of see that um, between the paper options the printing on the washi paper is pretty close to just as vibrant as on the white the paper itself is like a, I've shown this paper before but it's a like 
not completely opaque, like semi-transparent-ish paper. So colors will never be like quite as vibrant as white because it's a very opaque white, but I'm really happy with the color payoff for these sheets. So first we have the flowers. We have the edges. The bouquets. Um, the corners. I don't know if on the October kit, if I had these corners updated. Um, possible, also not possible. It's also possible that it wasn't, but in case it wasn't, these are the updated corners, or in case you missed it, I guess. So you get four of the corners. I think before you just got like two really big corners, but I feel like these are just like, I don't know, I like it a little bit better. And you get another edge piece here, but so now you get them in two different directions. You can always like rotate them though. Um, they're not super corner specific in my opinion, um, but yeah. Next we have the borders, of course, and then some little flower pieces in the middle, just to fill in some space. We have the dots and dates, or dates and dots. The days, the paper strips, if I can grip this. The box swatches. So here we have two floral ones and then some boxes from the full boxes. So we have the piano, the window, the candle and trinket, and then the um, the boots with the suitcases and such. Of course, we also have the deco sheet as well. And then we have the washi swatches and the mini swatches. So that is the decorative kit. Last but not least for the November monthly collection, we have our pet tape. Whoops, if I can grip it, that'd be great. Um, let's say this is the start here. So as you can see, we have just a lot of pieces from the kit here, matches perfectly. Let me know what you guys think about the pet tapes. Should we keep doing them for 2025? Should we switch up how we do them? Let me know. But these are the, um, these are, this is the November one. Matches great. My favorite, well, not my favorite, but the best time to pick these up were the pet tapes at least is during release week because you save an additional 10% off. So you get a lot of savings that way. Um, that is everything for the November, but we also have our last kit of this week. So let me go ahead and point this out before um, I forget. But uh, the quote on this kit is called stories, um, but the quote says, in the end, we all become stories. So um, not sure if you um, noticed, but that was the same quote as the other kit. Apparently, like that quote so much, used it twice. Um, yeah, um, I mean, at least it's different fonts, I guess. Um, I don't really know what the odds are that these would be released in the same week, because um, we do have like quite a few kits in queue right now, so I really could have picked anything, but I guess I just like the quote so much that it's the same on both kits. Hopefully that doesn't bother you guys too much. Um, can't really go back and change it because we already have a bunch of this and that made, and I don't really want it to the waist um so yeah anyway so here we have a bunch of books um some polaroids here with this girl reading of course florals this is like a stack of books here's like a flat lay of books here we have like some coffee and tea this girl here in this super majestic chair with a like foiled garland over her and then we have this cute little library scene with a cat in the window and some dangling lights. Here is the boxes page. So we have this really pretty berry color, this like greenish bluish color, a mm, beige tan color, and then a kind of like super muted blush. This kit is also in rose gold. 
Here we have the swirl header, the foil florals, and then the lace as well. Love the textures in these. Looks like it's like ripped out of like a vintage textbook almost. Same here, we have that same twirly washi and the foiled florals as well. The headers are that bluish color, well not headers, date covers. Um, and then we have a small assortment of deco here, so a cup, a chair, some books, a pumpkin, candle, and a typewriter. Here is the foil add-on, the same swirl washing divider, some old writing like swatches, books, there's like stacks of books and um, like some open books, some paper clips, some leaves, and then some of those hanging lights. Here is the deco add-on. So again, two girls reading. Um, a bookcase here, two different stacks of books, three different stacks of books, I guess, and then some typewriter, a, a typewriter and a pumpkin. Here is the journal add-on. Again, love all the textbook-ish vibes throughout the different um, elements. Here is the floral deco add-on and then the alcohol ink swatch add-on. So that is everything that I have for you guys this week. Um, still can't believe that quote situation. Just as I was about to film, I noticed it. And then literally as I noticed it, I got a comment on Instagram saying, um, are the quotes the same on both of these kits? And yes, they are. Um, but it's fine. Um, anyway, and I just realized that these library stamps would go really well with the stories kit with all the reading and stuff. So yeah, um, as usual, you can save an additional 10% off these new releases this week only. So make sure you don't miss out on that. Um, I don't think I have any other announcements for you. Um, yeah, let me know. Um, what you think of the November collection and the new releases in general down below. Um, and I hope that you guys have a great week ahead.